We are uh, going back to the story that we had uh, started the bulletin with. In fact, uh, once again, escalation in tensions as far as uh, Gaza and uh, Israel is concerned. This after Hamas says it fired rockets towards Tel Aviv area in central Israel for the first time in nearly four months. At least eight rockets were launched from the Rafa area in southern Gaza. Now, rocket sirens were sounded in other cities and towns as well. Uh, let me, at this uh, moment, in fact, uh, for a live report, go across to Aaron Singer. He's an Arab affairs correspondent, Israel TV in uh, Haifa, Israel, uh, located in Haifa, Israel. Thank you so much uh, for joining us at this uh, moment, Iran. I just want to understand uh, from you, uh, uh, at this moment, what is the situation? Eight rockets were fired. Has there been any damage or casualties with the, because of these rockets? Um, hello. According to the uh, latest reports, um, there was one report of light injuries um, northern of uh, northern uh, to Tel Aviv in the uh, city of uh, um, Um But I must add that, uh, according to military sources, this late uh, this the, the latest launch of missiles from the city of Rafah in um, in the Gaza Strip um, was something that the Israeli authorities. Um, were concerned about and had um, um, initial information or military information regarding to this launch. Um, they say, or they are saying, that the um, Hamas organization, the and especially the the missiles units, are doing all what uh, are doing the best they can in order to um, use all the missiles they have in the Rafah area before the IDF is approaching this area. And as you probably know, um, uh, the Israeli army, the IDF, is is um, um, is, is now launching or has launched a, a new military um, operation in the city of Rafah. Right. And it seems that they are in, under pressure, and this is why they they were launching these rockets to the city of Tel Aviv, on the city of Tel Aviv. Right. Uh, this also comes at a time, at a very crucial time, when the International uh, Court of Justice, in fact, has uh, the ICC has gone ahead and. Uh, has uh, asked Israel not to launch a ground offensive as far as Rafah is concerned. Uh, how do you see this, this attack vis-a-vis -vis what is happening as far as the uh, International Court is concerned and the response from Israel? Well, if you ask uh, Hamas, um, they, are, they are willing or they, they would like the Israeli forces to get into Rafah for, for their own reasons. They want to show the world that Israel is not obeying the international law. That Israel is 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 doing what it can uh, without w w when it's ignoring uh, what the international community has to say about it. Um, uh, but um, I think that the, the fact that uh, uh, for the first time in four months, new missiles were launched um, towards the the center of Israel, towards the 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 the, the main business center of Israel, um, uh, to the Tel Aviv's area. It's another proof why Israel is working so hard to get rid of Hamas in this specific area. But it's not it's not the only objective. Hmm. Um, the Israeli army has said um, over and over again that the reason that the IDF is, is working so hard to get into Rafah okay. is to find the Israeli hostages, these two Israeli citizens who were kidnapped by Hamas and are being held there. Do you also think, because, uh, you know, one of the initial objectives when Mr. Netanyahu, the prime minister, started this uh, offensive against Hamas uh, across Gaza was to decapacitate Hamas for any capacity to launch such attacks as far as Israel is concerned. This war has been long. This has been a bloody war where a lot of people, civilians in, his, in uh, both, uh, you know, initially in Israel and then a disproportionate number of civilians have been killed on the Gaza Strip as well. Uh, do you see at this moment that that objective is not yet achieved? Objective of completely disarming, discapacitating, uh, you know, the Hamas from their capacity to launch such attacks on Israel? Sir, you are right. You are now um, putting your finger on the number one issue. The number one, the number one um, um, uh, argue. Um, and that is that is now being held in Israel regarding uh, this war. In the beginning of this war, the state of the, the, the government of Israel um, uh, promised the citizens of Israel that two objectives will be achieved: that Israel will do the best it can in order to destroy Hamas, and that all the Israeli uh, hostages will be returned back home. 
None of these objectives has been achieved so far. And many people in Israel are, are asking the question, why and how can it be after so many months that, that, none, that none of these aims have been achieved? On the other hand, what we are seeing right now, and the fact that Hamas is okay. still capable of launching rockets on Israel, is another proof why you will, you, if, you, if you ask the majority of Israelis, they will tell you that Hamas must be eliminated, that, this, that, 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 the, okay. that the, the forces of Hamas, the, the, the uh, military capabilities of Hamas must be destroyed. Uh, and you are right, uh, Israel is, has not achieved it so far. And this is why people are now starting to question what's going to be um, from now on. Okay. We, we, is, it, is it going to change? And unfortunately, we're not seeing any change in, in the near future.